you, I understand you do have civility dinners. All the female senators get together. What, what, what is a civility dinner? Well, we get to know each other, and we have this trust build up. And I think more than the fact that we have good friends uh, is the fact that we've gotten things done. A woman senator led uh, the end of the shutdown. A woman senator led the budget. A woman senator led the farm bill. Just think of what we could do, Stephen, if we had 50%. Well, uh, you each have a book out right now. Um, Which I, I heard you have. Uh, a, Senator Klobuchar, have your a book is The Senator Next Door. Mm -hmm. Sounds like, kind of like a spooky movie. And, <laughs> and Senator McCaskill, you have uh, Plenty Ladylike. All right. What, uh, we'll, we'll get back to uh, your, your book, uh, Senator Klobuchar. What is plenty ladylike? What is enough ladylikeness to be a senator? Well, this comes from, uh, you may remember Todd Aiken. Oh, yeah, I remember Ray, him. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the guy yeah. that had, uh, that chapter's called The Magic Uterus. Yes. Uh, where he was confused about how a woman could conceive and so forth. Yes, exactly. He, he, <laughs> yeah, he was magic himself, and yeah. then he evaporated in a hail of his own words. He did. He did. It was perfect. So after our first debate, he told the media that he didn't think I'd been very ladylike. Oh, okay. So that's um, where the title comes well, from. Well, you did one unladylike thing. You put a million dollars of campaign money into getting him nominated as your opponent because you thought you could beat him. That's correct. So you helped get him nominated. I did. Just to jack slap him around in the election. That was it. Uh, plenty ladylike. All right. Now, uh, Senator Klobuchar, uh, Senator Next Door. What, who is the senator next door, and can I come over and borrow a cup of sugar? Anytime. What am I borrowing from you? What, are, what am I getting from you as being my senator next door? I think the point I'm making with this title is that we have to bring some neighborliness into the United States Senate, uh, that we have to bring the values of representing your neighbors. And a lot of that have been lost uh, in a world where people are on opposite sides of the aisle throwing punches. And so my point is that courage is not whether you're going to go in there and just throw a lot of insults at each other. Courage is whether or not you're willing to stand next to someone you don't always agree with for the betterment of this country. And that's what this is about. Well, 